Hi, welcome to another episode of Through the Web. This time is going to be a bit different. This time we're going to be talking about tech entrepreneurs. We are. Uh, mm-hmm. Usually we recap the week, but we thought we should uh, sort of dive into a specific topic and uh, put our thoughts on it. And uh, we actually found this um, question from uh, another podcast, uh, I think it's called Flagrant by Andrew Schultz, where he asked MKBHD, who was his, uh, I guess, greatest tech entrepreneur of all time. And that got me thinking, uh, because, you know, we've seen so many tech entrepreneurs over the years, uh, you know, Cold Fusion have covered so many different CEOs and entrepreneurs and um, innovators over the years. I thought that would be a, an interesting uh, discussion to have. So what I think we can do is basically uh, suggest uh, each other's ones and then we give our thoughts on them and maybe we can rank out of it in the end, like maybe the top five right. that we put in or right. how do you want to do this? Uh, yeah, I think a top five would be good. Okay. Yeah. I'll start with you. Shotgun. Shotgun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, So if we're talking about tech entrepreneurs, the thing about the word entrepreneur means they're doing serial things more than just one. I I feel like that's what it would mean. I guess that's a good place to start. So how would you define a tech entrepreneur? So someone who's in the field of technology but has done multiple things that are, you know, major, impactful. Um, And that rules out a lot of people because some people did one thing really well, but... Not so many, but I'd like to be a bit controversial here. Mm-hmm. And in the top five, I would like to say Elon Musk would be in there. Uh, I don't think it's controversial. I think it's controversial to some. <laughs> well, uh, currently, uh, currently, on Twitter. <laughs> currently, it definitely is controversial. I, I get your point, but yeah, just uh, would love to know your thoughts as to why you think he'd be in the top five. Well, um, mainly because uh, when his what he's done for the electric car industry. Um, you know, the automobile industry is, is literally one of the biggest industries in the world. And to have this period from um, like the 1890s till uh, 2008-ish, where electric cars were coming in and out of the picture, everyone thought they were golf buggies, glorified golf carts, and really couldn't do the job of a petrol car, to flipping that all around and getting all of these other car companies to chase Tesla, like... I don't even have to name how many car brands are starting to do electric cars. Like I remember when I was following this 10 years ago, this was not a thing. People were like, Tesla's going to fail. Just wait for it to fail. And now every car brand is like realizing, Hey, if we don't do this, we'll be left behind. So I think that's, that's a huge step. That's world transformative. Most people hate hearing that about Elon, but it really is. People still want Tesla to fail. Yeah, still. Um, and then when, what is done, I guess with, um, uh, SpaceX as well, that's quite remarkable uh, in terms of like a private company having um, a lot of success in, in terms of well, so quickly because um, cutting down the costs by as much as they've done and um, having a lot of things that are still in the works but the, the stuff that they've managed to succeed with isn't easy um, and, and to have the same person, whether not exactly – building it all, but at least leading the people and knowing enough about it, leading the teams and knowing enough about it to make these things happen mm-hmm. um, is, is, you know, quite conducive to being a tech entrepreneur. I think, I think that qualifies quite easily. Um, and aside from that, um, yeah, the, the neural link stuff, although, you know, the monkeys died and all, that. <laughs> but, but you know, like um, still seeing progress on that front as well. I think that that's quite exciting and it's, it's a totally different feel to all of this stuff. And then founding open AI, which obviously Dali two came out of that. And there's, there's a whole bunch of different things that um, that spurred on Google's gotten off their ass and starting to like work on that space as well. It's just these little seeds that are starting other, it's like everyone was sleeping for a while and then, comes along and and does these things and kind of changes things so um in summary i think yeah it's got his fingers in a lot of different different pies and he definitely qualifies for one of the the great entrepreneurs of today for tech um also i guess paypal was was a big big thing as well uh for sure uh but with with elon musk though i think one to play the devil's advocate one could say that he hasn't really come up with any of these ideas Mm -hmm. i think what elon musk is great at is coming in into a company that has promise and then really transforming the way that they can scale, they can impact, they can have a dent on, on the industry. Uh, so would you still kind of 
put uh, him under that bracket because he's also an engineer, isn't it? Mm. Like, because um, the engineer is engineer. Yeah. engineer. Yeah. So, so would you still kind of put him under the bracket? Because generally, a lot of entrepreneurs would be people who who build startups from from scratch. So mm. some might. Well, so the thing is, like, we we haven't really um, separated that. So. The entrepreneurial side probably comes along more than the the tech yeah. in the, in this situation, but he's still in the tech field. But he's great at it's kind of the Apple philosophy where you know there's something that's out there, there's technologies that already exi- exist, but you come mm-hmm. in and just do it better and kind of scale that up. Um, so I feel that yes, he may not have been in the trenches uh, building all of these things from scratch, but he's obviously doing something right and directing these people in a way to make these things work. And I think mm-hmm. that still counts. Mm, no, uh, I, I agree with you on that. I think, uh, I guess the, the term entrepreneur uh, in general would be someone who's who's building that company. I think it doesn't have to be from the, the very first inception of an idea per se. So if we take that into account, I think, yeah, he has to be in there. I think despite the controversies, um, the fact that these are household names, Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely qualifies him to be one of the greatest uh, in the yeah. in, in the business yeah. for sure, uh, and I think uh, when uh, the the parameters that I'd like to think that you know we we want to use in this conversation is is how big are the products or the companies that that exist are uh, or how these entrepreneurs have taken them to be uh, in terms of scale, um, how impactful they have been. I guess both positive and negative because you know with most texts there is is positive and negative um and i guess the longevity of it as well because there are a lot of big huge kind of rises we've seen over the years but then they don't really last long and i wouldn't really put them under that bracket so having said all that i'd like to put a name on the table uh, in the top five uh, and that would be mark zuckerberg okay I think uh, just his story essentially of building Facebook and obviously things are a bit controversial as to the impact of social media in the world and so forth. But the fact that he has fundamentally changed how humans interact, how humans connect, um, we see a lot of the negatives, but we also see, you know, the positives obviously are not talked about as much because they don't make great headlines, but there are cases of communities coming together uh, for good causes. There are people finding old friends, old family members, all that kind of stuff. I think they, they usually go under the radar and, and there's no way to kind of quantify that. Mm. Um, but even beyond that, whether it's negative or positive, I think the impact it has had on how essentially we, we interact with the internet uh, has fundamentally shaped humanity in itself. And I think that impact has... Uh, from the perspective of building a company, from from uh, building a tech company, I think definitely uh, he had a huge part to play because, you know, with Facebook came so many other social media companies. Um, essentially, our, our lives revolve around it because if you're not at least on one social media platform, your I don't. I don't want to say you don't live because I think that's that's weird. But essentially, if you're not in in because you're not in one of the social media platforms, you're basically off the grid of what what's uh, happening what's happening yeah. you know what what um what human uh connection is in the in the 21st century essentially or or the the water cooler conversations as, as they used to call it right because in the 80s uh those were uh, around you know if you're in, if you to go to the nine to five typical work scenario and you're standing by the water cooler um everybody would talk about what happened last night on the on the tv or like a big show that came out or a big finale everybody would talk about those things because everybody saw television or heard a radio show right mm. that thing's gone but has disintegrated into smaller water coolers in in the forms of uh, these smaller communities uh, the fact that this podcast exists mm. i would argue not necessarily for mark zuckerberg directly but he has had a part to play in building these internet communities mm. that took shape to where it is now um so yeah i'd, I'd, I'd played him as uh, is one of the top fives at least in my books okay um yeah i'll, I'll tend to tend to agree with that um in the in the strict sense of the social media kickoff was started by Facebook, um, but in terms of yeah, like I, the, the the impacts that it has is, is mainly negative, mm. I'd say. But yeah, I, I guess it still still works. Um, yeah, I, I would agree with that one. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, 
Okay, for this next one, I'm going to go a bit back. I'm going to say Nikola Tesla. Wow, okay. Uh, he didn't make much money, but uh, in terms of the the what is given to the field of technology, we wouldn't have a lot of stuff. Um, so he was influential in AC power, which is powers all our homes, all the lights that we see, um, electric motors as well. So the Tesla car company wouldn't exist without him. Um, he was influential in radio. Um, just a lot of these very ground roots like um, basis technologies that we built off for the 20th century. Uh, he was very influential in. So the tech side, yeah, right up here, but the entrepreneurial side, mm. maybe quite a bit lower. Um, and yeah, he's one of the greatest, greatest minds that ever lived. So uh, I'd say he, he fits in. Mm, I would think maybe the entrepreneur side is he probably falls <laughs> falls off on the entrepreneur level. Definitely one of the greatest minds, innovators of our time, no doubt. Mm. Do you want to do something? Should we actually look up the definition of entrepreneur? Sure. Because um, should have done that like at like eleven beginning. minutes ago. Because yeah, uh, I, I want to see if this could squeeze in. Um, so for me, entrepreneur again is someone who's starts uh, a business that's generally not uh, uh, okay okay sorry no, i don't no, want to interrupt no, you. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> a person who sets up a business or businesses taking on financial risks in the hope of profit so they don't have to profit they can just hope yeah on. and that's why you'd probably be a bad entrepreneur <laughs> Not a great entrepreneur. <laughs> but he's still, still entrepreneur. doing it. He's still doing it. But it's just not profiting. So uh, he hopes for a profit. Maybe. I don't know if he did or not. All right. I, 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 yeah, I don't think he probably hoped for it. I'd, I'd imagine he's, he's, um, he's an innovator. You know, he's an in, in, innovator. Yeah. Like, yeah. like his, his vision was purely for the love and obsession of, of the joys of science and tech mm -hmm. rather than the dollar sign that Edison saw. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think- um, So I guess- Both I, together, greatest tech entrepreneurs of all time. <laughs> yeah, but, but okay, I see what you're saying. Um, and that that makes sense. Like I'd say, yeah, Thomas Edison, yeah, he was greedy, he, he loved yeah, money. Yeah, like I wouldn't even put him on tech entrepreneur because again, entrepreneur, huge tech, probably yeah, like- He stole not so much. Mention, so yeah, um, yeah, that's an interesting one. But I, I, th I think I'm gonna say, um, just because it's so great, like it's almost like I can't not have him on the list, even though he wasn't really an entrepreneur. It's crazy. Um, yeah, having said that, like because if we're not putting Edison on that list, <laughs> does that take Elon Musk out of the list as well? <laughs> if you think well, about it. Because well, Elon did do some engineering. He did do some engineering. Yeah. Um, it and a lot of it would, would be proprietary as well for the company. Yeah, it wasn't like he just sat down and had a whip and was like, you over there. And, I mean, that's the image a lot of people have <laughs> of him, I guess, now. But No, yeah. He, he yeah. Um, okay. So, so, okay. We'll still keep keeping you on. Mm -hmm. um, maybe put, maybe. Okay. I, all right. Okay. All right. No, no, I, I would put, put Tesla in maybe the honorary list. Hon honorary mention. Okay, honorary mention. another one then? Can we, can we Absolutely. I'm going to say uh, Jeff Bezos then. That's, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's hear Obvious, Obviously, he's not the, the, nicest guy well i don't know if he's not or not but like very obviously controversial and a lot of things um uh amazon warehouses and everything people have their issues with i'd say but what he did for obviously e-commerce back in the early days he was the guy he was the guy who started it all because obviously you had a lot of other companies like pets.com and all this kind of stuff trying to do e-commerce during the dot-com boom but no one could do it properly. And then there was the crash and then out of the ashes rose the real companies and Amazon was one of those. And that was the premier um, e-commerce platform where it became kind of normalized. And obviously since then they've grown to immense degrees. Like um, obviously you have like Amazon Prime, the deliveries, you have the Amazon web services and uh, web servers and all this kind of stuff. So um, I think it's, he deserves a mention in, in terms of just how far Amazon reaches, you know, um, whether, whether that's working with government agencies to building spaceships, it's, yeah, you know, I think that's a fair. Great, yeah, um, I'm on board with you on that one. I think, um, again, I just keep going back to AWS. Mm -hmm. uh, like Amazon, of, of course, the, the early early days where, uh, of just selling books to where it is now <laughs> in the world of e-commerce, again, it just changed the game for, for so many things, so many people. 
Uh, but again, when I think of AWS and what they're doing to power the current economy, which is part of Amazon, the Amazon Web Services, it's incredible that how like how involved they are in in the current world. Yeah. They're everywhere, everywhere. Like if a lot you, of huge companies run on them, essentially. Exactly. It's just like like, like uh, and I think they're and governments as well. Hundred percent, and I think the way they are um, kind of uh, market, they're only beginning to market that. I think uh, mm-hmm. because I, I didn't think of AWS's involvement up until maybe last two three years, especially through a company you know that, that I've been consulting with. But other than that, like I wasn't really aware of of AWS's impact, and only recently I just saw uh, an, an advert yesterday on TV um, uh, that they you know it's like uh, they power. Ticket Tech, the power, um, Twitch, the power, iconic, like all these big, huge brands in the world. Um, it's it's incredible how how far. And it's just again, only one of the probably 10, 20 different things that the that Amazon's got their other hands on, right? So yeah, it's Jeff Bezos definitely on on that list or to where they've taken them. Okay, so poor Nikola Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe he needs to go bald or something. <laughs> Did he die at thirty nine or was it twenty nine? Oh no, he was old. What when, Tesla? Yeah, he was old when he died. Oh quite, really? Quite an old man. Yeah. Uh, oh, he just died poorer in the New York. Yeah, because in a hotel by himself. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Why? Well, why, why is why is Brayden laughing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. For those who can't see our producer, is just laughing at that fact. He won't say why. <laughs> oh, we'll just carry on. <laughs> um, uh, the next one that I'd like to table is um, probably. A very common name. You probably see it coming, Mr. Jobs. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. but then you say entrepreneur. So what's the what's the serial? I I've, I think I know the answer to this. What's the serialness of it? Uh, I, again, I don't think it has to be serial per se. But I feel again, just his story of of the vision that he had. I think again, he's more of a visionary than a pure bred entrepreneur. Like you know, like Tim Cook is like full-on business mm. focus, business mind. He's nowhere near Steve Jobs, right? Uh, but I think Steve Jobs, when paired with the vision, uh, sorry, when, when he's with his vision, when paired with the business side of things, which he obviously had support from from the rest of Apple, um, it's taken Apple, again, to, to heights that no other tech company had seen before, you know, from the early days uh, of the Mac computers to the, the smartphones, uh, it, and and I I don't know like some people say that maybe if he's still around that probably Apple would be producing more and more kind of you know innovative stuff. I don't think that's necessarily true because of how saturated the market is in terms of you know where we are in the tech curve. Uh, but he was there at the right time doing the right things, um, and he had that kind of bit, bit of the, that uh, mad scientist kind of mindset as well, because uh, obviously the story of of um, of changing the what, what was it the the iphone um screen screen mm-hmm. like two weeks before production or something where it said it has to be mm-hmm. glass can't be plastic and all that kind of stuff like like that's the the mad kind of like that's what kanye west does mm-hmm. or did at Adidas, right so so that part of it when paired with the right kind of business mindset is the exact you know pairing that you mm-hmm. need for a big successful company and for me, uh, again, the, the Apple changed the trajectory of smartphones, of computers, of of any creative business that we see mm-hmm. in, in a lot of ways. And, and and Steve had a lot to do with the vision that he had in his head. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously he had to have some entrepreneurial uh, mindset to pair up with the marketing and, and some of the product that he had envisioned. Um, some people say he's not very tech heavy either he's just kind of like that the middle ground but uh, again uh, I, I think he had enough of those elements to be called a tech entrepreneur at least in my books yeah i think that's true but i think he was more into tech at least on a high maybe not the on the ground coding but he understood what each thing did and its strengths and weaknesses more so than people gave him credit for mm-hmm. um there's actually some interesting uh, little stories within the steve Jobs saga so um when he got kicked out of apple in uh, 1985, I think, after the release of the Macintosh. Um, was it? Yeah, the Macintosh, yeah. The, the full colour one. Uh, you know, the, the company said he's, he's out, he doesn't know what he's doing. So he went away and started his own company called Next mm-hmm. and then they created this operating system called Next Step. 
And there's two very interesting things about Next Step. So Next Step and the Next Computer were actually, you know, very uh, academic computers and used in academic settings. And one person who got that computer was Tim Berners-Lee. And he used a Next Step computer to create the first website, web page and create the, uh, the internet. Well, not the internet, but the but basically web. Basically the, 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 the web, yeah. So he, the, the way he managed to do that was um, through the way Next Step was created. So Next Step as a software was very easy. To, it was like object oriented programming and you could just play stuff and there was no need to code all this stuff and all that. It was just made easy. And through that, it made it easy to create a website and he just used that and hyperlinking and all of that kind of stuff. So without that, the web would have been different. And it's a weird thing to think that this was just a Steve Jobs side project away from Apple, but his mindset was still there of like, this is how the future should be. And another thing about Next Step was um, that operating system ended up being put into Mac OS 10, like changed into Mac OS 10, which is completely different from all the other previous versions. And for the iPhone, they ended up squeezing Mac OS 10 into a smaller body. So that lineage from Next Step is actually what came into the iPhone. The foundation iOS. for iPhone, yeah. So it's like he was more involved than people give him credit for, you know. Right. So a lot of people say he was just there whipping people around. Yes, he was. He did do that. But he, he knew what he was doing, you know. So um, – I definitely agree with, with Steve Jobs being on that. So okay, awesome. That's that's uh, that's. How many do we have? I think we have four. If we take Tesla out, okay. <laughs> so you got table the fifth man. All right, the fifth one, fifth and final. So far, it's been. I, I'd say it's been very predictable. It has, <laughs> the the, it the has. top four. Let's, even let's, the let's do it. Let's throw, honorary mention. Let's throw a little a little cur- curveball. But who who would it be? Um, someone that's not. At the top of the list that you'll think of. I don't want to think for too long. Um, uh, you can what, what, what about um, Elizabeth Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> or just Jeffrey, Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey Skilling or <laughs> Bernie Madoff? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, if, if, if you're on that train, might as well give credit to the guy who founded Luna. <laughs> the greatest the, tech the entrepreneur. One. <laughs> Maybe we should do it the other way, like the worst <laughs> entrepreneur tech entrepreneurs yeah, that, that, of all time. That would be, be more close, I think. I, I, I think we need to do another episode, like yeah. the the actual goats, <laughs> <laughs> not the goats. No, no, no. Yeah. no, but the worst of all time, the goats. Um, I don't know. Um, I have a name, but it's it's uh, it's probably not not. Well, wouldn't be on the greatest top five kind of thing. Um, like I'm a fan of Mark Cuban. Um, I think he's done some really interesting stuff um, with the early internet and onwards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, he's he got into other 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 things afterwards. Uh, you know, with with Dallas Mavericks and right now, I think with the with this pharmaceutical kind of startup as well, that's doing pretty pretty decent. Um, but yeah, the, I like you know his approach. Do things and and he would be. I, I know there are things said about quote unquote self made billionaires or self made millionaires because technically no one's self made per se, but he would probably be in one of the more closest of, of that terminology if that terminology you know does exist because uh, you know he, he started from nothing in a lot of ways and then built this this entire um, company that he sold to Yahoo. Uh, for for millions essentially, and that that you know shot up his valuation to to billions in in stock and shares. So, um, yeah, those early internet stuff. But uh, yeah, he probably wouldn't be under under yeah, under like not, the, not with the same level same level as the other ones. Uh, this is more of a personal kind of kind of thing. Maybe we just take it four. Yeah, that's sad. four. And I think we should do another episode where we rank these four. We could do it now. Oh, probably not. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I, I Can we do like Larry Page, Sergey Brin? Yeah, why not? But the thing is like they kind of come together. It's not like they're, That's they're, right. they're, they're individuals. And they didn't really go on to do anything else after Google. They kind of just kind of said that's enough. Yeah, because with the rise of Google, I think where Google is now, a lot of the, I'd say, last decade or so, I don't think they've had a lot of, big part to play compared to at the inception yeah. of it. Uh, I think they're just trying to 
venture out and see what what like they're doing some cool AI stuff, but mm. it's like that's you know kind of next step, and their hardware side they're kind of just. Would you say Travis Kalanick would be in that list? Not so much for his personality, but because what Uber has done to the economy in terms of the idea of gig economy, uh, I think started with Uber. From Uber Eats mm-hmm. to Uber, you know, like all the, the the whole concept of the fact that everything is one click away, one app away. Uh, I would say started from Uber uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'd say you're quite right there. I think that fits. Yeah, I think that fits. But given his, <laughs> but yeah, obviously terrible person, and 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 there seems to be a trend there. <laughs> no, but also, I think aside from Uber Eats, and what else do they have? It's- uh, well, Uber, Uber Eats, uh, obviously are the the main things. Um, they've tried a few other other things. Um, for for delivery mostly, mm. but again, yeah, not- uh, yeah, I don't think there's that much else but they've made a gr- massive he's made a imp- great impact to uh, uber massive massive uh impact with that whole gig economy thing so i think i agree with that potentially one. in the top five okay that's 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 super interesting all right i've got a, i've got a so okay so just to wrap up that five course we've got um elizabeth holmes <laughs> elon musk zuckerberg jeff bezos steve jobs and travis Kalnick. <laughs> who would have thought mm. um in in Top five, at least our pick of of, yeah. the, of the greatest tech entrepreneurs, yeah. uh, at least. I think we're probably missing missing some, some big yeah. name. Like holy, shit. yeah. How do we miss that name? Yeah. But before we wrap up this episode, I have a question for you. Obviously, these were instrumental in in impacting the way you know humans interact, the the scale of it, uh, also the type of uh, tech they use has has shaped uh, the economy in itself, right? In a lot of ways. Um, do you th- like what do you think would be the next big one because we're kind of in that area i feel of the last five maybe even 10 maybe mostly five years where you know nothing mind-blowing has come out where people go like oh yes like this this is going to be the next big thing i guess what are you talking about all this ai stuff now is like <laughs> true but do you think that's enough to contribute to perhaps one individual as a tech entrepreneur or as an oh, invention okay, okay, okay. or a company it's changing not, it's the not path. Clear. I think we're at that time where whatever happens, there's like a million competitors that pop up instantly. Like yeah. I think it's just that at that time, we're just at that time, you know? So I don't think, I think it would be much harder to have another Facebook or another this or another that without another competition coming in or another company buying that out straight away. I think we're just at that point where it becomes everything's just moving so fast that it becomes harder to get ahead by a long shot and everyone's kind of playing catch up and wondering what you're doing and how you're doing it. I think that's kind of over. I don't know. That's just the feeling I get. I, I mean, I mean uh, that's what my question was anyway. And I think, yeah. I, I think that even begs another question is that then do we not ever see another Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos or mm. is it, because with, with again, with the, way things are with thousands of i guess carbon copies kind of showing up or copycats showing up of like one even somewhat of a breakthrough invention sorry i just have this just when you're talking about copycats oh i I feel bad should i say this he's not gonna watch this is (laughs) so you know the be real video i did oh yeah there was another um some guy commented and said that he made oh emailed me sorry saying that he made another app and he posted it on tiktok and it was like a copy of be real but it was called um uh rebuild or something like that like they just changed two letters around and it was like i was like really but yeah it, it goes to show like it's the same kind of deal except it's like there's a slight change in uh you can post as many photos as you want or something but it's it just like almost the same thing and it's like I don't know why. Why bother? But um, anyway, sorry. You yeah, no. On. I think I think that that totally uh, you know captures where where things are right now, right? And I think with these um, with, with with where things are right now, it, like this, like I don't see uh, again another big name at least coming on unless it's something drastically, crazily different. Yeah, it's like maybe something that people just haven't thought of and it's hard to replicate maybe, but it's harder no matter what. It's definitely harder than it was in 2005 yeah. or, you know, 
So 1999. So um, that's that's a very interesting question, actually. I never really thought about it that way. Will we ever see another Zuckerberg? Or I think we may, but it's harder. Yeah. It's going to be harder. 100%. Yeah. Um, I guess on that note, we yeah. can wrap up. They can wrap it up. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you next time.